Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Meg, and in today's video, I've got something really fun. We're going over some of my favorite drugstore nude lip combos. I've got a lipstick and a lip liner combo, four of them. I'm going over a range of all sorts of things that I know that you're gonna love. These lip combos are honestly so good, and I have to share them with you because they are my go-tos when I'm like thinking about a nude lip combo that is drugstore. These are what I reach for. Sometimes I reach over my high end products as well. So if you're into that, stay tuned. But before you do, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future uploads. And make sure to follow along on social media, especially my Instagram where I'm constantly sharing amazing makeup finds, including drugstore beauty is one of my favorite things to share. Let's just go ahead and get this drugstore lip combo party started. So like I mentioned, I have four lip combos to share with you. Some of them look may look kind of similar, but I thought about different like undertones to everything. So if you wanted something more beige, warm, cool, pinky nude, I've got you. These are so incredibly amazing. You're going to love them so much. For every product that I'm gonna be sharing today, I will be also showing you some video clips of me applying the lip products and also kind of a close up of the lip products on my lips as well so you can kind of see them and the combo together in action. I'll also do some swatches on my hand as I talk about the combo as well so you can sort of get a feel for it, what it looks like side by side and then on the lips. So the first combo, honestly, this is my favorite out of all four and I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that they're pretty contrasting. So the, the lip liner, and these, this is so affordable, $5 lip liner. This is the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in the shade Sand Beige. Honestly, this is one of my favorite lip liners of all time. It is a really deep, dark nude. It's not super, super deep though. Like you can pair it with so many different nudes. It works honestly with any of these lipsticks that I'm sharing. This, this lip liner will work with it quite well. And then the lipstick that I love to pair it with is this in the shade, it's a L'Oreal lipstick in the shade Ferris Nude. So let's look at these on my hand. The lip liner is quite a bit darker than the lipstick, and this is my beigey nude lip combo. If you like a contoured lip where it's kind of a little bit more ombre, you've got that like nice contour, which is I'm really into lately. The 90s trends are kind of coming back with makeup. This one is so good because again, you've got that nice, beautiful contour in that lip. So that liner gives that neutral contour. It's not too warm, it's not too cool. This is very, very neutral. And and then this beigey, it's called Ferris Nude from L'Oreal. It's not quite shine, but it's not quite matte. Like it's very satiny, almost shine type of formula lipstick, very comfortable on the lips. This lipstick is beautiful. And it's especially, I feel like it looks, it kind of washes you out when you wear it by itself, but when you pair it with a darker lip liner like NYX Sand Beige, it is phenomenal. It is that perfect beige nude contoured lip. Thank me later. Honestly, like I said, this is my favorite lip combo of the bunch and I wear it all the time. Always get questions on it and this is it. If you take one thing away from this video and you buy one of these lip combos, make it this one. It is the best, my favorite hands down. So the next lip combo I wanted to give you was a pinky nude option. So if you love the shade Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury, I've talked about this lipstick a million times before. It is the Flower Beauty Petal Pout Lipstick in the shade Spiced Petal. Best dupe you'll find. It's a little bit more satiny, not quite as matte, but the color is absolutely spot on. And then I really love to pair that one with this Essence Lip Liner in the shade Because Duh. So let me swatch that on your lip. This is gonna give you a rosy, pinky nude lip. So the lip liner definitely has rosy, cooler undertones. It's a little bit darker than the lip liner, which I really like to do, as you'll, as you'll see as a theme going on here, is I really like to kind of have my lip liner just be a hair darker than my lipstick. But this is gonna give you a rosy pink nude lip 
If you're into that, try this lip combo. You will not be disappointed. It'll give you Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk vibes for an, a fraction of the price. And Essence lip liners are crazy and expensive as well as the flower lipsticks. The flower lipsticks are pretty hard to find in store. So check it out online. Like I have everything linked in the description box below this video. So it's easy shopping. I scoured the best prices and the best shipping options and stuff. So that's there for you. But yes, this is the rosy lip combo, pinky nude rosy lip combo in this bunch that is beautiful. Okay, so this next lip combo is going to be your cooler toned nude. Almost kind of have a little bit pinky vibes, not too beige, not too pink. It's just kind of, like I said, very cool. But I love this combo, I think it's beautiful. So this is the lip liner from LA Girl, the ultimate lip intense stay auto liner in the shade Nonstop Nude. This is a very neutral. So this lip liner actually does not pull very cool toned, but I like combining this lipstick with it. This is the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayons, and this is in the shade Trust Your Gut. This is a very cool toned, pinky nude, very cool toned. And I really like pairing these two together. As you can see, the LA Girl lip liner, these are so good, you guys. If you've not tried this lip liner formula, you're going to be in immensely impressed. But the shade Nonstop Nude is a favorite of mine. As you can see here on my hand, the lip liner is, of course, like I said, a little bit darker than the lip crayon. It's very neutral, so it's not gonna pull too warm, it's not gonna pull too cool, which I think honestly helps balance out the cool tones in the shade Trust Your Gut. You still get that light, cool tone nude vibe with this lip combo, but if you're looking for that, or maybe you're very fair skinned and nudes look a little iffy on you, trust your gut, and honestly, the L'Oreal Ferris Nude are gonna look really amazing on those that have very fair skin. Um, you might pick a lighter lip liner, like the nonstop nude will probably will also work with this, but if you're very fair, the Ferris nude and this trust your gut is going to be amazing on you. Trust me, trust your gut. Okay. Um, this combo is absolutely beautiful for a cool toned, neutral nude vibe. Okay, we're to the last lip combo of this video. This is your peachy warm nude. So if you want something peachy with some peachy undertones to feel more peachy, a little bit more warm tone, this is gonna be for you. It's actually what's on my lips right now um, because it was the last lipstick that I put on when I was swatching all of these and those other clips. I'm like, I'll just keep this on for the sit down portion of the video. But the peachy lip combo that I'm sharing with you today is this Milani lip liner in the shade 03 Nude, so it's the color statement lip liner. And then the lipstick, this is the Maybelline Ultimate Slim Lipstick in the shade More Buff. These are stunning. This formula is incredible. I've talked at ad, ad nauseum about these lipsticks. But I was watching one of my favorite Instagram follows. Her name is Rose Ann Ben. So she found the lip combo that Adele was wearing on the Vogue cover, and she found a drugstore alternative to these Pat McGrath lipsticks, and she compared them side by side side and they're perfect so if you want to channel your inner Adele on the cover of Vogue magazine this is the lip combo you want so I want to thank Rose and Ben for this inspiration um, but here are these products on my hand so again this is going to give you more of a peachier vibe even though the shade is called more buff I find that it does pull a little bit more warm peachy so that's right here this is the lip liner and then this is the lipstick. These are closer in shade, so the lip liner is not a lot darker than the uh, lipstick. They're very, very similar in tone. Um, in fact, they're honestly nearly identical in my opinion, but if you are looking for that Adele vibe, you're gonna love this lip combo. It's absolutely beautiful. Love it on the lips. Again, it's a very peachy sort of undertone. This nude is more of a warmer tone nude. Um, and I think it's gonna look good on so many people. And I love it. I mean, I'm wearing it right now. I feel like it's working really well with what I'm going on. I'm wearing like a nude top because we're talking about nude lipsticks today, okay? Like, hello. All right, so 
I absolutely love every single one of these products and I know you are too. If you're gonna try these, please let me know. Let me know in the comments if you have tried any of these products. Like with anything in makeup, you can totally switch these products around. Mix the lip liners in with any of these and I really feel like you'll come up with a great combo. But I'm giving you sort of a starting point to go off of and then you can mix and match any of these. I think you're gonna have a lot of fun playing with them, especially using like the darker one, like this NYX um, Sand Beige. Really truly works with any four of these lipsticks if you want that contoured darker lip, darker lip line. You're going to fall in love with this and honestly you're gonna have so much fun coming up with your own lip combos. But I was hoping that this video gave you some inspiration and sort of a jumping off point to find some stuff that you love so that you're gonna find your best nude combo because we're all different, right? My perfect nude is totally different from your perfect nude, especially with different skin tones, your undertones, what colors you prefer, what color your hair is, things like that. It's totally gonna vary. But again, like I said, I hope this was a really good jumping off point for you to be able to find something that I know you could f love and find your perfect nude combo. So yeah, now we're done with this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have your perfect drugstore nude lip combo, please leave it in the comments. I have to know because I am constantly searching for amazing nude lip combos because it's my favorite. I'm a neutral lip girl through and through, and I love it when it's from the drugstore as well. So let a girl know, leave me a comment so I can try it out for myself. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope I catch you in my next one. Uh, again, make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.